play is an important aspect of child development. That's how you learn, you build confidence. If your play is very structured and there's not a lot of it and you don't have the freedom to make decisions and choices and make mistakes and decide how high you're going to climb or whether you're going to go down that steep slide. The space is magical. When you walk underneath the very short entrance, you know that you're coming in a place that's special to children. Your imagination immediately uh, ignites. My favorite thing to play on here is the giant stinky. Mm. Mm. Cookie and Mile. Mm. Sometimes we play on there when we were playing hide and seek. Cricket Mile. Because I like that, like, the road is not straight. The giant. I like Normally that, that house that's carved in a shoe. I think it's almost this incredibly hidden kind of jewel that exists in Sacramento. It's like, in some ways, it's frozen in time. I think it's incredibly valuable for parents to have a place that they can bring their kids, uh, not only that's safe, but where they can exercise their imaginations. Children today, they're, they're not interacting, they're not using their minds, and through play, it keeps us sharp. There are very few places like Fairy Tale Town in the world. All of the play structures that are here are static, and they're things that kids interact with, or they use their imagination to bring to life. Fairytale Town started, I guess, 56 years ago. A lot of those things are still here, and still vibrant, and still fun. But you know what? Things are changing, and continue to change. We want Fairytale Town to continue to grow, just as much as we want our children to grow. This park also needs to have that same growth. The one thing that we're lacking here at Fairytale Town is more space. And that's what the capital campaign will help us do. We'd like to make a story center, an indoor space where kids can do activities that pertain to reading, writing, and storytelling. And then there'll be five to six new play structures, again, that will be a little more challenging to older kids. Also, we're going to have room for, next to the story center, for an outdoor classroom. Fairytale Town serves lots and lots of schools, uh, youth groups coming here for, for visits and to have a focused outdoor classroom would be a wonderful addition. I grew up here in Sacramento and I have some memories of running around through here with friends when I was little and now my children are here. To be able to see that through the generations I think it's a long lasting gift that directly impacts children and families in this community. When you give to Fairytale Town you're giving to uh, really the future development of kids from a imagination standpoint, from a creativity standpoint, uh, from a literacy standpoint. Given where we are today in the world, I, I think that's more than worthy of, uh, of a donation. Fairytale Town is a place that the community built, and so it really is important that the community get behind this expansion. Dreams can't come true with just a few people. Dreams come true when a lot of people work together for that common dream.